Actually, it did, like, very quickly. Uh, I would say in days, almost. Like, one day I just found there is just nothing but the awareness to... Yeah. And nothing that... Nothing else that would be observing anything. Uh, nothing else. Nothing else the... observing. Yeah. Anything. No observer. Just. Yeah. Just that. That. And that was. Uh, Everything becomes simple then. Mm. Everything becomes no arguments. Everything is reporting to arising in, mm, appearing in, disappearing in. You see. If you are aware that you are, if you know you are the awareness itself, then even though in the field of the manifest there is living and dying, and then your living and dying will happen in the awareness you are also. Yes, yeah, so when I kept marinating in that, um, um, I found that unchanging uh, spot inside that observes the the thing coming and going. Yeah. And that was really another amazing step for me. Yeah. yeah. And is it really a spot? It, is it really a spot? I mean, you call it the polar star. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It's just like it's no spot. Yeah. It's just like yeah. a sizeless. Or it's yeah. It's nothing. Just like something that doesn't change. Oh, okay. Doesn't change. Yeah. Uh, and when I just few days uh, found out that um, uh, I was still then I was um, approaching the thoughts that were still coming. The the. Like the flow was stronger or weaker, and uh, and I was still kind of like trying to l um, let it go, or um, not avoiding it, but let it go, and just hopefully hope that it will decrease, yeah. and always just kind of reprehend myself uh, yeah. that you know. Like let me I give you now thinking. at this point, given that you are speaking like this, I give you now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, some very quintessential pointing now for you. You should not worry so much about the traffic of thoughts and sensations and what they are doing to you, because the more we look at those, then they are relating to a phenomenal perceiver. Okay, who hears me on this one? Yeah. So it's not so much that you know you're watching. Oh, this thing is coming, and then this thing is happening to you. Th that was earlier. Now. Mm, you only watch the eye because it contains everything. It's the seed out of which everything is coming. It's the, it is the original seed. From it has come the second seed, the seed of personhood. But that tree lives and dies. But now you watch the eye. And when you look at the eye, you'll see if it is presenting itself as a phenomenon. Is it phenomenal? Is it the person? Is it the sense of presence? Or is it the absolute speaking? If you catch each time, you see something you said, yeah, and now this thing is happening to me, and I don't know how. So who is speaking? Who is speaking? You see? Not what is he speaking about. That was earlier. What is speaking about? Oh, you're thinking about me. Oh no! It was her. You see, this is the this is in the minefield. You know, now we are coming out of that. Now you watch who is the subject to this uh, proclamation. This is a very important that I'm able to be saying this to you, because until there is the capacity to really hear this, it won't be spoken. You see, and it's not deliberate. It's not say, ah, today I want to talk. No, because you have said what you have said now, then I can say now to you. Don't so much watch the 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 stories and the thing and this is coming and the relative world of interactions. You know, you watch I because first arising, the first born is the feeling I. Watch what this I if it is a what shape it's taking, you see. So far in most of our lives, 
our life, lives maybe even, it has adopted the position of the person. And it's been comfortable and uncomfortable as the person. This thing happened to me and it was so wonderful. Oh, I had the best, it was so good. And I was meditating and I saw all these beautiful lights and I saw all this thing and then this thing turned from white to into purple and the purple come right here. Not for, me. <laughs> for you, no, you don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That is the people maybe searching for, you know, a spiritual experience or something. But that's okay, it can happen as well too, because all this once the lid is taken off the the the, the the consciousness, it will dance in all kinds of ways. But for you, you doesn't matter what color they have; it doesn't relevant for you. What is to whom is it arising? You see, the sense of uh, this natural sense, the intuitive, intuitive, subjective sense of being. You, know? you see, if it is from the person, the person. Yeah, and so on, so on, so it's a bit more personal. If it's personal, it better be very light and playful. But now you see, as you start to watch the sense eye, when it settles down into just the vibration, the sense I am, it's already in the orbit of his ness. And it becomes very quiet. It is not a negotiator. You see, it is not. A, it's not fixer. It just because it's aware of itself, everything takes the proper um, position, and everything comes into natural alignment. This is the power of consciousness. Gradually watch this eye. What is watching eye? Don't jump too quick. Be one with this eye, the eye that is not jumping about, not the eye person first. So really, be established in the eye presence. The sense I am. The I am without history. Who is not attached to the concept of future and and change and so on. It is the stable. This is the polar star feeling. From here, life is flowing. Everything now seems to be moving in a more graceful way, you know, in obedience to that principle. You see, when you're in the position naturally unforced uh, to be observing even the sense of presence. Naturally, you're in the unqualified state. This is the, the wordless, the uncreated, the unfluctuating, the imperishable. These are words that uh, they don't touch it even. You cannot have conversations about that. You can have conversations up to the point of the I am. <coughs> what I tell you right now, we don't even have to speak anything more today, even. If you can take it away with you and marinate in that. Because it will be the mind itself. That says, you know, yeah, okay, okay, and uh, okay. I've got another question. No, <coughs> no. This is going to eat up all your questions, all your doubts. <coughs> yes, if you understand, at least if it resonates with you. And then don't share that with another question. Don't touch another idea because it will dilute the, it will appear to dilute what I've said, but it will only that dilution doesn't really happen. What will happen is that the mind and attention will go into a state of fragmentation and you'll not be able to hold 
unto the words I speak. What I say to you right now, it's like it's like you trying to dive to the bottom of the ocean, and not be able to do it. And I'm gonna give you a big stone. You hold on to this stone and jump. <laughs> and don't let go of this stone. It will take you to the bottom of yourself, so to speak. When I meet someone who, in whom this 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 is arising, this subtlety of perception, I can say this. It comes spontaneously, even unplanned. Don't need to watch the life. Don't watch the world. Don't watch the person. Watch the sense I. Because out of the eye springs the world. I am waiting for such moments, you see, to share with you. But while we are busy picking the fruits of the tree of existence, you miss this. <laughs>